深き黒の森のダークエルフ、エレオノールと申します。お見知りおきを。Hello and welcome all.Welcome to b e l l d Gaming and welcome to another Action Time Amen video.In this video, we will discuss about Eleanor's blue build.And yes, there's Eleanor in all her glory.And yes, she's very beautiful.Alright, I got Eleanor at level 81.The reason why I have her at level 81 is because Uh, on my streams, yes, she is not、uh, that good. She will struggle, guys. So, yeah, she needs some investment or pretty much、uh, investment if you want to main her. So, be prepared. She shares weapons with Kirara and she cannot use the weapon,、uh, exclusive weapons for Kirara for healing. Kirara has a weapon for healing, but she also does as well. The only problem. Her weapon for healing is actually in her package. So, yeah, you will need Demonites for this one to upgrade it to 5 out of 5. And if you don't,、uh, you can just、uh, enchant it、uh, plus 15 or how much、uh, you need.、Uh, you can plus,、uh, give it a plus. So, yeah, that's uh, how invest, uh, you need some investment on her. And I have this Kirara weapon from the start. So, yeah, I just、uh, plus 15 this for her to do more damage. And I got pretty much not perfect, but defense Magatamas here for her as well. Okay, so that being said, what are her skills on blue? So, what we, what we have here is Melee Storm. All right, pretty much I'm covering it up. So, yeah, I'll just、uh, read it. Just、uh, look at the, <laughs>、uh, the animation there. So,、uh, Melee Storm h o l d、uh, at the attack button. Conjures a whirlpool in front and deals damage over time, pulling enemies in.、Uh, for three set, it increases speed by 10% for 10 seconds. It increases attack range by 50%. And it increases skill damage by 150%. This is really good because Eleanor's attacks are a little slow. And she's a ranged character, as seen there. More speed, more DPS. So, yeah, this is pretty much a buff to her、uh, speed. Eleanor will need speed for her attack. Next would be Aqua Curtain. Summons five spheres and revolve around the character, ignores the damage of all ranged attacks for six seconds. So, basically, ranged attack for six seconds. And it deals damage to enemies、uh, who touch it. So, basically, if you're near the enemy, as seen there, yeah. Uh, the enemies will be damaged when it's,、uh, the enemies are touched, but it's only for six seconds. I wish it was、uh, about 10 seconds, so it would be a little longer, so yeah. But overall, yeah, it's good, it's good. This is a good skill. And it actually increases the speed again for 20% for 10 seconds, so you will gain more speed. So more attack speed、uh, when you activate this skill. So this is good as well. Next would be Geyser Burst. This,、uh, the, the, so basically, it summons a water pillar and it、uh, performs a charge attack. After the pillar disappears, it leaves、uh, a current that pulls enemies in. So basically, it's like a melee storm, but it's more up close and personal because, yeah, she attacks and then boom, there's a water as seen in the animation. And then there's going to be a puddle,、uh, basically, a current water that spins that will damage enemies over time. It increases the size of the current if you're gonna set the blue on main. So, yeah.、Uh, but if you have green, it will knock up the enemy. And if you have red, it will、uh, increase the duration by one second, as seen here. All right. So, yeah, that's a、uh, geyser burst. And my last one is Spirit Blast. Spirit Blast actually、uh, conjures a giant bird that performs an air attack. Summons an additional water pillar that deals damage over time for three seconds when slot effect is applied. It will stun enemies. So, yeah, when the enemies are being,、uh, you know, attacked by being damaged and attacked by, on the whirlpool, you can just、uh, hit the enemies with spirit blast while they're being attacked. So, more DPS. Remember, guys, Eleanor is like a wizard. So, you need to play from a distance, keep her safe. And yeah, basically hit from a distance. That's,、uh, that's how it is. This one,、uh, the blue build, I find it best because this one is the safest build and it's for zoning.、Uh, green build is more for DPS, as seen on my, what you call it, stream. But on higher levels, I do prefer the blue build right now because of zoning and because of the healing supporters that I have as well. 
So yeah, we'll discuss that later, but we're still doing the skills right now. So like I said, when you're doing skills, uh, max out skill and max out uh, upgrade attack and then max out first uh, third uh, the cooldown because yeah we need the cooldown to be max max out as well okay because yeah as seen here melee storm is 14 seconds aqua curtain is 14 seconds geyser burst is 12 seconds so basically 14 seconds uh pretty high up there on the second so basically yeah she's gonna be a caster and she's gonna be left uh very vulnerable and her attacks are slow like i said so basically that her red build actually is the debuff build it gives wet but like i said it's much better for her to have healing because eleanor doesn't have healing what yeah that's a main uh, that's her main problem she doesn't have healing she's a good eye candy she's uh she's powerful on dailies and events but on higher levels yes you will struggle with eleanor because she doesn't have healing that's her main flaw here <laughs> so basically that all right so how do we help eleanor out number one like said her weapon our package weapon has uh healing as well but you need to build this weapon and another thing about eleanor yeah she needs investment uh not that well it depends on you if you're a whale yeah invest in her it's easy but if you're not a whale yeah she will need a ton of investment to do really good damage okay on higher levels though on higher levels but on dailies events yeah she's good she's good okay so my supporters are kato the reason why i have kato here is because she can actually uh, increase the damage of range attack and the critical rate uh when the enemies are snared and she can snare up to four random enemies for four seconds and pretty much yeah ba basically that she can just uh, be a zoner can help us zoning and alternatively you can use another supporter here either uh shisui yeah uh, the, be the best blue supporter here or the best supporter in the game uh, arguably and then next would be uh felicia for healing as well uh since it's we're going for blue build next i have is narita akina because it Im she immediately restores 26 percent of lost hp for five seconds after getting hit reactivates after 15 seconds which is uh, good as well and like said uh nanase ayumu i use her because uh she has a five percent chance to deal additional 200 percent damage when attacking an uh debuff enemy and uh the whirlpools of uh you know uh what you call it actually gives debuff so yeah and this main supporter actually gives debuffs as well for snared enemies so yeah 200 percent damage boom dead <laughs> a dead enemy okay and yeah that's pretty much it on that one for El eleanor so yeah either go uh, either go for kato felicia or uh if you have if you have them remember all these supporters i have here right now are free from the events so yeah if you're lucky to get one of them try to use them on eleanor if not just try to use the sr supporters uh even the r supporter jinyu mitsui will help you out because she actually recovers hp as long as your hp does not go down 50 percent okay so let's go on to the gameplay all right we are now on the gameplay section of eleanor remember guys to play her like a wizard so yeah keep your distance and pretty much uh, yeah keep your distance and keep hitting enemies do dps and basically that just zone enemies out so yeah like this zone them in then that's it they're dead and then guys are burst then when you shield yeah they can't hit you oh they're coming in do do the blast and yeah okay boom that's it just keep uh keep them keep them distance Keep them from a distance and then boom. That's how you do it. That's how you do it, guys. Keep them on a distance. Keep uh, be on your toes always. Dodge and everything. Okay. All right. Let's uh help. Let's get out of here and oh, I got hit. And they're dead. Thanks to Geyser Burst. All right. And that is it for the gameplay of uh, Eleanor.
yeah pretty powerful guys uh, as you can see yeah 32 seconds but like i said you will need investment i really suggest uh to all of you guys that max her out uh either if you really want to main her either max her out at level 87 or at least level 81 she's gonna be like asuka she will need a little uh investment asuka's good now because if you actually got her limited weapon for healing yeah she's really good Eleanor actually has a healing weapon, but yeah, you need to buy that healing weapon for her. So yeah, that will, if you're, uh, if you're not a whale, you just uh, buy stuff and you can't upgrade it. Yeah, it's not going to be, you know, potent as a, a whale's, uh, you know, uh, weapon. It can, uh, it, you, you need to get it five out of five and, you know, ba basically maxed out. And pretty much that is it uh, for Eleanor. So what are my final verdicts for her? So yeah, uh, basically, yeah, lower A tier for me uh, on Eleanor because she has no healing. But when you build her up, yeah, she does a ton of damage, a uh, real ton of damage. And yeah, she's an eye candy. She's beautiful. And she's done by Aoi Nagisa. And yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much uh, her selling point. Uh, her, her beauty and her uh, unique gameplay uh, like a wizard, water wizard, basically. Okay, so... We've reached the end of the video, guys. Alrighty, since this is the end of the video, member shoutouts here. T3, Crossover Gamer, and Chaos Tropic. Thank you very much for being members in my channel. You guys are awesome. Thank you for all the support as well to all my subscribers. Alrighty, guys. Take care. Stay safe. Like and subscribe for more anime and gaming content. Bye-bye, guys. Eleanor, I love you. I love you. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes.